Now you're thinking, Taylor, you just made like how many follow-up videos now? Now listen here, people. My subscribers, the couple that I just got, I'm sure are here from the Fallout Boy video. So hopefully, this gets me more. Hey! So, I'm actually gonna try and do videos every like couple, like every week or so, if I get the time since I, but I work. So it makes my schedule really hard because I work weekends. But I am here today to tell you the story of how I got into Fall Out Boy. Now you're thinking, Taylor, you just made like how many Fall Out Boy videos now? Now listen here, people. My subscribers, the couple that I just got, I'm sure are here from the Fall Out Boy video. So hopefully this, this gets me more. I mean, I don't care. I love all my subscribers. All my 21 subscribers. Especially since one of them is, like, one of my favorite YouTubers. I, like, knew a Fall Out Boy. They came out. Let's see. I knew, like, the song Sugar We're Going Down was out in 2005. We'll just... You know what? So, I knew, like, of that song, and I knew... Like, thanks for the memories and everything. Never knew it was my follow boy, by the way. Slap myself, you know, mentally every day because of it. And I really should have known who follow boy was because they were on One Tree Hill. And I watched One Tree Hill with my mom. And those were, like, the episodes that I started watching with my mom. Was, um, the episodes that, uh, Fall Out Boy was on. And let me just tell you, I love Pete Wentz. Like, I love Pete Wentz to death. The, like bottom of my heart, I love Pete Wentz. He doesn't act very well. He's not a very good actor. Now Patrick, on the other hand, he's I love him. When I was younger, like I liked the songs, I just never knew they were by Fall Out Boy. I first heard of Fall Out Boy again, not knowing I, again that it was Fall Out Boy, when I went to see Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters, with my grandma. So. I went and saw that, and my song told you in the dark was in it. And I was like, I don't like this song. Who's it by? And then I didn't think about looking it up afterwards because that's just how I work. I don't think about these things when I um, hear them. Ooh, I look good today, girl. Okay, back on topic. Um, but no, I went and saw that and then my one of my friends I was I was a sophomore in high school so it was three years ago oh no but I met a girl in my study hall that had um save rock and roll and I borrowed it from her and I downloaded it on my iTunes and I listened to it and I was just in love I love that album so much it is my favorite because it was the first full album of theirs that I ever heard. That was the one that I took to the meet and greet that I got signed. And that I didn't really say anything to them besides like asking Patrick for a hug. My favorite song off that entire thing was Save Rock and Roll. If I get to it, I'll probably throw the clip in of them singing it from the concert. Songs, and then I found Sugar We're Going Down, and I was like, oh, that's by them? Oh, Smart Taylor, yeah, woo! I really, that's 
basically how I first heard of them. And if you guys knew, like, if you know me personally and you watch my videos, you knew that, like, back then in high school, I was a big, big, big One Direction freak. Like, I loved One Direction. I saw them twice in concert. But now it's like, oh, Fallout Boy. I really got into Fallout Boy from my friend, and then I borrowed. I didn't borrow any other Fallout Boy CDs from her, did I? No. I um, just borrowed Save Rock and Roll, and then I asked for a bunch of Fallout Boy CDs for Christmas. I take this to your grave. Um, and oh, from under the cork tree, I got those, and then. Right after Christmas, American Beauty, American Psycho came out. So I went and I bought an iTunes card to get it like that day. I went at 6.30 in the morning to Walmart, got an iTunes card for the gift card that I had, and downloaded American Beauty, American Psycho before I went to school. That is like my second. I love that album. I love all of their albums, really. They're just so good. And then this year, well, I ended up getting filet a -Doo before Christmas last year and I was really excited because then all I needed was let's see I needed infinity on high and I would have like all of the all of them and I was like and I got infinity on high for Christmas and I was so so happy and now I don't know where it's at somewhere in my car so me right Queen of losing everything. Um, that's why I was like super excited when I went on Tumblr back in on, like October, I think 12, 13th, whatever day, and found out that they were having a tour, which now I come to find out is their last tour for a while. So I was very lucky that we got tickets to this and we got the meet and greets because I don't know when the next time we would have been able to get them. And it would have sucked. <laughs> but no, it was a good time. I met a couple of cool people. No, I still met a lot of cool people. Now I've been like everyone on uh, like Instagram and Twitter and stuff. Which, by the way, if you were at the Fallout Boy show in Chicago and you have Tumblr, Twitter, or Instagram, Twitter, all my links will be in the description. You should come follow me. Um, no, but back. Okay, so I was like wondering how the meet and greets went and like I wanted to hear people's stories about the meet and greets and so I found this YouTuber named Jordan, which by the way, now Jordan is subscribed to my channel and it literally like I found out this morning that it, because I was like, why do I have 21 subscribers? So then I was like going through Jordan's channel looking at um her, looking at the videos and everything. And then I saw that Jordan was subscribed to my channel and I was like crying. <laughs> it was literally probably one of the coolest things in the world to get like someone that you love watching their videos and everything to even like notice you on Twitter. But let alone to have them subscribe to your channel when you have like no subscribers. I have like 21 now that Jordan followed me. Subscribe, whatever the word is. Subscribe. I feel so, so happy, you guys. You don't even understand. And like, I want to talk about Patrick. I love Patrick. I know a lot of people probably like, if you don't love all of them equally, you're not a true fan of Fall Out Boy. Well, screw that, because I love Patrick Stump to death. His um, solo album literally gives me so much life. There I heard, everybody wants somebody. And I'm like, that song is me. Because everybody wants, like I want, if I want to date a guy or if I really like a guy, they aren't into me like that. And the lyric goes, everybody wants somebody that doesn't want them. That lyric is me. Take this to your grave. It's probably either where, Grand Theft Auto, Where's Your Boy, or Chicago was so two years ago. Which are, like, those ones are my all-time faves. And then, from, from Under the Cork Tree, it's Dance Dance. 
a little less, a little less 16 candles and sugar we're going down. And then Infinity on High, Thriller, Hum Hallelujah, and Thanks for the Memories. Oh, and the Takeover, the Breaks Over, something like that, that's what it's called. And then Foley Adieu, What a Catch, Donnie. I cry when I hear that song just because I, I have had a lot of stuff happen in the past, like, few months from May until January, and it's hard. And I understand like that song hits my, hits me in a place where I'm literally so sad, and I, it's really emotional for me. And I just, I don't know, I cry when I hear it. That's my, that's my favorite off that album, besides um, America's Sweethearts. And then, you go on the, but yeah. So then we go to Save Rock and Roll, which I love every damn song on that album, so it's gonna be really hard to pick like my all-time, well my all-time favorite is Save Rock and Roll, but like after that I think it's Miss Missing You and Alone Together and then The Phoenix. We go to American Beauty, American Psycho, and my favorite song off of that is probably Favorite Record and The Kids Aren't Alright because The Kids Aren't Alright is mine and my best friend's song. At Fallout Boy at the show. My I knew my best friend was gonna be there, but I didn't think that we would be by each other. Well, she was in the section next to us, and then the people next to my mom moved, so my best friend Michaela got to come over, and we watched it together. We watched Fallout Boy set together, and when the kids aren't all right came on, we literally like we started screaming, and we held hands and we sang to each other, and it was just beautiful. Hopefully. I will see you in the next video. Bye.